everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to if you are new here. My name is Lily and on this page or on this channel you can find everything to do with personal development and mindfulness. Now in today's video I wanted to talk about a system that I use. I've recently come up with an acronym for it but it's a system that I use to kind of move forward uh, whether that's to get myself back into motivation or you know focus or get out of a funk or anything like that but it's a system that I use to basically help me move forward and just not stay where I'm I'm stuck basically so we'll get straight into the video and talk about this new system so the new system is called face it so this acronym stands for F which goes into feeling I am a firm believer in feeling what you're feeling and allowing yourself to feel the way that you're feeling don't hide how you're feeling a lot of people when they're down or feeling a certain way that's not necessarily you know up and exciting and optimistic that most people tend to want to be around they they kind of suppress those feelings and act like they're okay i really firmly believe against this and i think that it actually prolongs the feeling because you're not actually accepting it you're not dealing with it which beautifully segues me to the a which is accept accept the way that you're feeling accept the situation accept what you've done accept what you haven't done whatever it is it needs to be accepted you just need to get over it and you can't get over something without accepting that it is done and you there's nothing you can change about it so once you've kind of done those two you know you just allow yourself to feel that you're the way that you're feeling and accept what you've done accept the feelings giving yourself that it goes on to the next stage which stands for creative action plan now i love being creative and i'm <laughs> i'm slap bang in the middle of a type a and a type b personality pretty much um i really do love to plan things i love organization i love systems i love structure but i also love creativity and spontaneity and all of that kind of stuff which i know it can come across like very uh like an op oxymoron i guess but i truly believe that you do need some sort of structure when you're moving past things like i love to have some sort of action plan just to get you into momentum i always add something creative in there because i feel like it's such a great way to which segues me to the next part express yourself so e stands for express and execute so you want to express your creativity and execute that action plan it's really about you know putting something in play and then actually taking it into action and when you're doing these four sort of steps so allowing yourself to feel the way that you're feeling accepting the way that you're feeling or the situation what's happened whatever it is and then coming up with some sort of creative action plan and then expressing and executing that when you do those four stages with intention and time you genuinely will start to see that progress you'll start to get momentum you'll start to feel motivated and you will move forward so that is what this whole new system that i just absolutely love and believe in is all about it's just about facing it just face the issue and you'll be fine i've i have had so many situations in the past where you do just like bury your head in the sand it makes it so much worse you suppress the feelings that you're feeling or you let go of you know expressing yourself or creatively expressing yourself being creative as just a form of release and it always kind of spirals out of control um i always find that it just kind of over time you start either feeling numb or you become really unhappy or you fall off the bandwagon or whatever it is i always find um when I do these these steps these four steps and I just sit myself down it's almost like a grounding technique and a grounding system for me to just kind of really check in and self-evaluate again so I really do sit down and I just kind of ask myself okay why am I feeling the way I'm feeling like what's caused this is it internal thoughts in my head that have just slowly amounted to more and now it's really affecting me or is it an external um you know an external situation that's made me feel this way and then allowing myself to accept that so if it's an external thing that's that's made me feel this way accepting that that external thing is something that i cannot control 
and then sort of getting into the understanding as to why I've allowed something that I can't control to affect me in that way. If it is an internal feeling and it's an internal thought that I've had in my head that I've been subconsciously saying to myself, it's accepting that that is a thought and that is not who I am. Again, trying to get to the root of it. Why is it that I think and feel those things? What is it really? Is it lack of self-love or is it lack of self-belief? Like what, what part of it do I need to work on? Which is then goes into that creative plan, that action plan. I'm like, okay, well, what do I need to do? Like, have I been, have I been expressed myself have I been you know creative have I been creating content have I been um, filming myself have I been anything just any form of creativity have I been creative have I allowed my you know my other half of my soul and spirit to be able to express itself and then also what am I going to do about it if it is like external thoughts or um, external things that's kind of affecting me what is the action plan or if it is internal like you know I wanted to start getting up at 6am every day and I haven't been doing that what am I going to do like obviously the plan that I had in play before wasn't working so what am I going to come up with now like I need to come up with something creative something new um, and create a new plan so then it's just about putting that into into action and expressing that and executing that and when you do those things genuinely with intention and, and when I say intention it's like don't try and take on five or six different things at once because that's just not going to be very intentional if you focus on one thing at a time and always try and focus on like the the main thing the biggest part that you think will have the biggest impact because it really does trickle down and it kind of is like a snowball effect and or like the butterfly effect or however you want to look at it and then you just need to give yourself time to actually allow the the results of that to start to show if you then end up not sticking to that plan or whatever it is you just go through the system again and until you find something that works for you because that really is life it is just continuous trial and error until we figure it out and I'm gonna be totally honest with you nobody knows what the fuck they're doing anyway like literally nobody really knows what they're doing we're all figuring it out so the only thing that we can do is ask for advice from those that have had more time experience because they may have already been through it but even then their circumstances will never be the exact same as yours so the outcome of what they did and what worked for them might not necessarily work for you so it's always kind of like I love to just seek advice from people just to take it into perspective but I always just analyze that I analyze what worked for them and sometimes I slightly adapt it so that it works for me or sometimes it, it's something that would literally work for me or not work for me at all and at least like that I know you know that's not something that would work for me I don't need to try that it can also make you think of other ideas or actions that you could take it could inspire you although you may not follow the same thing but it could inspire you in terms of another thing that you could try to move forward I know that this video is kind of quick and short but I just wanted to share this because it's something that I truly truly believe in it's the system that I personally use for my own life how I move forward and I really wanted to share it with you guys because um, it is something that I do talk about quite a lot in terms of you know just like I think to the day to day and my friends, they do hear me speaking about these kind of stuff a lot. I've always, always said to them anytime that they've come to me for advice, you know, you need to allow yourself to feel the way you feel. And I know that you're gonna wanna put on a brave face for your friends and like you don't wanna be a burden, but you're actually being more of a burden to yourself in the future if you do those kinds of things because you're just gonna make yourself suffer for longer. So it's just not worth it. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope that hearing about the system that I use, the Face It system, has kind of given you a bit of perspective. Maybe it's given you a little bit of kind of groundwork or some sort of structure that you could use to check in with yourself and evaluate yourself pretty much just to see what where you're at and what you need to work on and all of those kinds of things because again I've said this before on my channel we continuously need to be growing we are not all knowing people nobody is perfect and the minute you stop learning and growing is the minute that you are going to let yourself down so please do not stop 
growing, connecting with yourself, figuring out who you are. The personal development journey is so important and fundamental for every single person, regardless of what you do, because it does it it just does stem into every area of your life and every area of your life affects the other area of your life. It really does work like that. When you're at work and, you know, if you're in a job that you really hate, you're gonna come up home in a foul mood because you've just been in an environment that you're really not happy in and then that slowly trickles out into your personal life and all of these kinds of things so you owe it to yourself and the people around you to really really work on yourself figure out who you are what makes you happy and be the best version of you possible so again i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will be back again next week for another one please do subscribe if you are watching this if you've been watching my videos and you don't subscribe because i do see in my analytics that there's a high percentage of you guys watching that are not subscribed so please do subscribe because it really does help me out and definitely hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video and you've got value from it and i will see you next week with another one thanks bye